Okay children, what we're going to do in our literacy lesson today is we are going to write a list of animals that sleep during the night and animals that sleep during the day. Just adjust that. Okay, so I've got my animals down here and I've got two pieces of paper. One says daytime animals and one says nighttime animals. Now, can you remember the name the word that describes an animal that comes out at night, it begins with a N. Mm. Did you get it? It is nocturnal, so I'm going to write that up here. N-O-C-T-R-N-A-L. Nocturnal. And then, who can remember the, the word for animals like us that are awake during the day begins with a d have we got it diurnal d i r n a l right so this is going to be our list so first of all i need to sort my animals into nocturnal and diurnal so let's see what i've got i've got a boy but we write we might write man i've got a hen I've got a bat, I've got an owl, I've got a hedgehog, I've got a dog, I've got a rabbit, a badger, a rat, a mole, a cat, a pig, and a fox. Right, what we'll do is we'll take one by one and I'll leave a little pause so you can decide with your grown-up whether it's a nocturnal or a diurnal animal. Let's start with a bat. I'll give you a minute. Do you see bats in the day or do they come out at night time? Yeah, well done if you said nocturnal. They are a nighttime animal, they come out at night. Okay, the next one. I've got a dog. A dog. What do you think? Well done if you said diurnal because they are they are awake during the day. Okay, let's do a hen. Are they awake during the day or are they awake at night time? They are also diurnal, they are awake during the day. Okay. Let's try a Badger, a badger. Do you see badgers out at night time or are they out during the day? Well done if you said nocturnal. They are night time. They come out at night as well. Uh, now, this is what we've been learning about this week. An owl. We all know this one, don't we? Tell your grown-up. Please say that owls are nocturnal. Right. What about a little mole? They dig tunnels. Do they come out in the daytime or nighttime? Yep, they are also nocturnal. Let's do this little pink pig. Do you think a pig comes out in the day or do they come out at night time? Ah, look, see a pig goes, it's out in the day. Right, now this is an interesting one, a cat. A cat, are they out at night or are they out in the day? I think that's a bit of a trick because some cats are, go out asleep all day and are out at night and some sleep at night time. So I'm going to put that in the middle because I think a cat could be either. And I think actually it might be the same for a rat. You do see rats out in the day but they also they do come out at night time. I think on the whole they're more nocturnal but we'll put them there. Right we've got four more. I've got a boy but when we write it we're going to write man. Man. Are we nocturnal? Are you nocturnal? No, you sleep at night time, don't you? So you're going to go here. Then I've got a hedgehog. Hedgehog. Do you see them out about during the day? 
not very often because they come out at night time. Then I've got a rabbit, a rabbit. What do you think? That's a little bit of a tricky one too. So I think that's like the cat and the rat. Some come out, some are nocturnal, but some are diurnal. And then the last animal I've got is a fox, a fox. Tell your grown up, where should this one go? It's a nighttime animal. So, children, maybe your grown ups can write down the um, which animals I've got because then what I'm going to do on a piece of paper, I'd like you to write a list for me. And a list is a um, column of words and we're going to put them in the, the right list. So, on your piece of paper, it will look like this. And you can do a line down the middle. And you can write, you can copy mine, diurnal, and nocturnal. And then I think I'd like you all to do at least three each. You're going to write your list. So for my first diurnal animal, I'm going to write hen. So I'm going to segment the word hen. Hen, and then I'm going to write those sounds. Her, eh, hen. So that's number one on my list. Okay. The next one I'm going to write is I'm going to write rabbit because my rabbit sleeps at sleeps at night time. So rabbit. I'm going to segment it. Rabbit. Rabbit. R -a -b -it. Rabbit. Now, grown ups, I've done this phonetically, and that's what I want the children to do. I don't want you to correct their spellings, I just want them to be able to say the sounds and um, write them down so they're phonetically correct, if not properly spelt. I'll do another one over here. So, uh, let's do the owl. Owl. Can you segment the word owl? A -o -l. owl. I'm going to write it as I, as I sound it out. A -o -l. Now, grown ups, if they do know the right spelling, then obviously they can do the right spelling, but most will be sounding out. Let me do one more. I'm going to do the badger. The badger. Hmm. Let's see, how would I sound that out? B -a -d -j. B -a -d -j. I'm going to write that as I've sounded it out. B -a -d -j. Badger. Now, grown-ups, please don't panic about this because at this stage, we're only in November. What we're trying to get the children to do is to be confident to sound out and write their words. We will work on the spelling, like the er uh spelling, in the summer term. So for the time being, we just want them to be confident and to have a go. Um, we obviously, as they go through reception and up through school, do work on spellings. But it's so early in the year at the moment that it is more important that they're confident to have a go and to try and spell it out using the sounds that they know, rather than us trying to correct them. So um, I put on the blog, if this is a piece of work that could come back into school um, and you could just note down how much you helped them, we could then stick it in our writing books just to show that they were doing their home learning. Um, I hope that's helpful and good luck children. I think probably three each, but I would like to, you to challenge yourselves and to choose more if you can. Okay.